I would not use these bendy conveyor belts if you're trying to do what I'm trying to do. They just move everywhere. You put them there and come back later and they're all mangled up and look like they were in a wrestling match or something. Same thing happened here. I tried to hang stuff over the cliff because I thought it'd be cool. And it was harder than I thought and these these bend ones that bend they bend 90 degrees either way They'll, they just move everywhere they won't stay where you put them it helps if you hook them on to each other or something else but they still move anyways let's go on these ramps that's a mod ramp helps me get higher elevation I wanted to see how high the game will let me go I had to build this obviously or, or semi obviously I had to build this to the sky I wanted to see how far it could go up and this is how far it lets me go up and about here three steps from the top I go I'm tired of going up I, all right one more and then I go well I'm done I'm just gonna start going down now I only go one more and then about here I go well, you know, my Uncle Floyd, whenever we go fishing, he's always, one more cast. Oh, just one more cast. But I look at those mountains over there in the background, and they're higher than I am. I think, well, I can probably go that high, and I don't want to do that. So, I said one more cast, though, and this is it. I'm glad I did the one more cast, because I found out how high it'll let me go. This mess here... It was a pretty interesting spiral pattern. Went around like this, but it would never stay there. These, like I said, these all moved all the time. I'd put them just perfectly. I spent hours arranging them so that they'd all trigger and transfer the material, and I'd come back later, and they'd all be mangled and moved and whatever. So I pulled those out, put in these better ones. Don't ever use those red ones. Or those bendy ones. These others come in red too. Okay, here's my dog. I haven't named him yet. Anybody got any suggestions? Where is he? There he is. There's his there's his dog house. Where's my dog though? Oh he's in the shade. I don't blame him. It's kinda like my Rottweiler that died a little bit ago. Anyways my Rottweiler was probably the best dog I've ever had in my life. So, I don't... There's my cows. Here's the top of the world. Now, uh, this is... Turns the opposite... Of the opposite. There, There's no grain going... Or anything going through these. But the animation stays on a lot of times until I... Commandeer one and adjust anything. Then, uh, then the animation turns off. Okay, we're at the bottom. Whoop! Wrong way. See, there's there's one of those bendy ones I just got fed up with trying to position having it stay there. Pulled it out of the way. These were all bendy ones. Got rid of them. They just all move everywhere. Okay, here I've got a worker hired. He goes back and forth, putting it in those two. It splits up, goes around this little hill here. And, uh joins back in that collector. Okay, here, this pisses me off. I had a bridge there, or a tunnel more likely, that went under the truck. It didn't fall down for like three days, real days of me doing this. Over here, I had another tunnel going under this nice silver trailer propped up with these front, front or wheel loaders. It didn't fall down for a while, but then it just fell. It'd go, it'd go like through the forks. I'd go away and do something. It'd come back, and it had gone through the forks. Everything's all messed up. Tried it a few times. No, I give up. Kept doing it. Here's where it goes. There's where they buy the, in this case, potatoes. All right. Let me jump over to... To... I promise we're going somewhere. Yeah, I hear you. To this area. And I will quickly show you a couple things. 
about these conveyor belts before we get into conveying actual stuff. Okay, how do you do that again? I've only been playing this game for X amount of time. So you hit that button. Then you hit that button. Then you go over there. See, it's lagging. R1. And I have to hit it like three times. Sorry about that. Enter that vehicle. Okay, so... Uh, man, sorry about the lag. Sometimes it gets better, sometimes it don't. If you want to hook these up, it will help, like I said. Here's where I was experimenting with how far you can let it fall and still trigger this one. I mean, it won't even fall if it's any higher than this. So, that's, again, X amount of meters or feet or yards, depending on what you like or where you're from. I wish I was had meters, but I live in the United States. So, alright, this one, just go up here, enter like any vehicle. Let's turn this on, so you, the help window. Okay, I can hire a worker, I can change the angle. Well, what does that do? It did nothing, and I couldn't figure it out for a minute. But, okay, you can raise it up to there, well, almost up to the, the, that high, you can extend it to that much, this, that much, you can extend it to <sighs> that much, of course you can zoom in and out, now, here's where the hiring the worker comes in, now I can do this without hiring a worker, but I'd have to stay there, of course. You hit unfold belt. Watch those wheels. Okay. Now, if I hit accelerate, duh, if I hit decelerate, or brake, duh, pretty cool, huh? And just whip it around to wherever you want. Now, you're thinking, well, won't that bin where it collects move? Yes. But, let's drive this sucker over there. Okay, I'm in re I gotta go to reverse because forward is where that collection bucket bin thing is out there on the other end. If I just get close to this, oh, I can raise this up and down. How do you do that? Nope. Yeah. You don't have to really. Usually it works without doing that, even though it doesn't look like it. If you get this in the middle of that collection area, then you can, like, let's hire a worker. Well, yeah, let's get out of that and get in this one again. They call it entering or getting in the vehicle, which it's not really, and you don't. But now, see, there it says I can hook that up. It says attach. I don't have to, but it'll help stop it from moving around all over when I'm not anywhere near it. So, X to attach. Now, that will stay right there and I can let's hire a worker well, let's here let, the angle see it says angle 50 degrees can change that 5 10 up to 50 let's make it oh went past it all right let's make it a certain amount there it's a certain amount now hire a worker now I can go away like I do on my conveyor belt where it splits and uh, it'll just keep doing that so dismiss worker Let's go, oh, when they're connected, you have to, if I wanted to control this bendy one, I can only do it by getting in this one. And see it says fold belt, that means I'm not, that means I'm controlling the one that, that raises, that you can hire the worker on. So if I hit select tool, let me, let me look, look above my help menu there. There's no tractor icon. Now I hit select tool. Now there's a tractor icon. And it says detach. If it says detach, I'm working with 
the one that's attached to it. So now I can move this around. I can extend this. Of course, you can do this when you're not attached, but, it, but if you want to do this while you're attached, you have to be in the front vehicle. And I've had like 12... 12 or 15 things attached at once because you can attach things to the things you attach. Uh, so anyways, you can you can put your stuff anywhere in this second half and it'll trigger and collect it. It doesn't have to be in the end. So let's uh, see if I can get some stuff to go all the way through my... Turn the help window back off. And let's go over here and jump in this vehicle. You cannot jump in a vehicle that's attached to something, so this one isn't. Enter vehicle. Exit vehicle. Go down here. Look at the lag. It's always really bad here at the beginning. It gets a little bit better as it goes on. Then it gets laggy and less laggy. So I hope you can put up with that and I'll maybe cut out or fast forward a lot of that. But I would like to sh look at the time. Watch my time so you know it's I'm not cheating and it's going all the way through. This is another pretty cool conveyor belt. Uh, it will collect stuff off a collection point. And if you dump your potatoes there, that's a collection point. And by collection point, you probably know what I'm talking about. But here, take a look at this. Uh, yeah, back where I had, where I first started. I'm going to jump in this truck, maybe, yeah. This is a collection point. You see those, uh, it's like tape or whatever on the ground here. I think it's put silage in there. I haven't done it yet. But if there was silage on the ground in that collection point and you put that trailer up there that, that I just showed you, this here one. Yep. get on the thing. Come on, there you go. Um, yeah, what I was saying, it, w it would collect it automatically. So, normally I'd, I'd enter that vehicle, but it's connected to this vehicle. Remember, you got to get in the front vehicle to control any others that are attached. So, oh, poopy pants. <sighs> so I don't screw something up, but we can turn that help thing back on. All right, it says detach, so I am working. It'll do whatever you were in, doing last, and I am working with the black trailer there because it says detach, so turn on belt. And I'm not going to do a whole bunch here, but you can see my pile disappearing a little bit. Turn off belt get out of that vehicle and man look at the lag when I do that it sucks come on move now I found if I stay on these conveyor belts there's less lag see there now there's less lag don't understand this exactly how the graphics are screwed up the lag screwed up. Here's one of them red things. I really just about got fed up with it and junked it. I mean the bendy conveyors. It would never stay here. The key to that is let it flop around a few days and where it ends up don't ever move it from that and hook stuff up as best you can without ever moving that because there it will stay if you let it flop around for a while. And when I say days, I mean real days. This may get monotonous because it's so friggin' long. So, yeah, I'll probably fast forward a bunch of times just for your convenience. I enjoy it, or I wouldn't have done it. But I know this ain't everybody's thing. When I was a little kid, I used to love marble racks. As I became a little bit older, I got into... Rube Goldberg machines. If you don't know what a Rube Goldberg... Puh, my dog was barking. Way up there is a dog. 
Oh, I already showed you that. Anyways, look up Rube Goldberg machine. I used to make them before I knew they existed. Very interesting stuff. It's a convoluted way, like, I think my first one was a mousetrap, and I think maybe Rube Goldberg's first one was a mousetrap. And it's like, how many steps can you go through that you don't need to catch a mouse? To catch mice? Yeah, a mouse. Here's where I tried hanging that... Oh, I jumped off. Watch out for the lag. See, it's going into the very end of this collection end. Collection half. It doesn't have to be in the very end like I first thought it did. I mean, the very other end. Where the bucket-looking thing is. Please tell me it's not stuck somewhere. I've had one successful run-through where everything... Man, this was frustrating. One successful run-through where everything worked. Uh, crap. Oh, no, it's gone. Uh, I spent days adjusting a little bit here and there, and I'd think I'd have everything set up just perfect, and then I'd come back and it'd be moved. Like I said, hook stuff together, it'll move less. Only use these, they don't move unless it's hooked to one that moves. Where, what, come on. There you go. Too much lag, sorry. That's the way it works when you have this many, I guess. When I played Farming Simulator 15, I was, I put a lot of effort into making a bunch of hay bales, because I, you know, you can stack them up at your farm and just use them. And I got like 20, 30 hay bales stacked up, and it's just started lagging to the where I couldn't even do it. I couldn't play the game hardly. Gave up on the hay bales real quick. Okay. I almost junked this little contraption several times. It took me a while to set it up, so I didn't. But the key to this is, get it there. Don't ever try to adjust anything on it. Adjust your other stuff to conform to its wishes. I tried to adjust it once, and it, like, blew up. It went flying everywhere. Just touched it. I don't know what I... I got in the vehicle, and I, like, hit a button, and boom! It just freaked out and started flailing everywhere. I put it back, which I probably should have wasted my time doing, and made sure no know what. Seriously! It's the friggin' problem. This worked last time through. I'm going to do something here that I said you should not do. Alright, I'm going to do what I said I should do. And not do what I said I should not do. Dad gum it, this pisses me off. I'm going to move this over just a touch. Yeah, it's tempting to hit X and connect that. <laughs> there goes two days worth of work if I do that. Unfold belt. What? It's going through now. Ah, okay. Thank you. I don't know what... Why? What? What? What's different? Why are you going through now? I didn't touch a thing except I... Well, I did get in the vehicle. And I... I think it started going right before I hit unfold belt. I don't know. Looks like it's just slightly... The one I'm on is slightly too far to the right. And I almost just moved that one over a bit. Ignoring my own advice. Sort of glad I didn't. And and I... I didn't... I'm not succeeding in my goal of showing you it going through without me touching anything. Because I touched that one. I don't know. Does that count? Uh, maybe I'll make a better one again. Who knows? Kind of tired of this now, though. It's been days. I don't know what. Four or five days of me doing this. To get this done. I recommend not doing this. Unless you want a really cool lesson in frustra frustration and futility. Or frustility and frustration. Something like that. Can we see where our destination here yet? 
Yeah, yeah, barely. See that green building there? What is that called? A reticule? That my reticule is on? Barely over there. Yes, I'm coming. We'll feed you when I get up there. Okay, I, I didn't think I put this much in. This happens. I don't, I don't know. I get more and I get less as it's going through. It's probably just the way it draws it or something. Also, sometimes it seems like some just disappears for no reason. And I think maybe it's sucked into the conveyor belt dimensional vortex or something and stays there until the next pass comes through. I don't know. I didn't write the code. How about now? Yeah, see, there's the grain, central grain elevator where I can sell my... See, my potato field's right, right there. And I could store my stuff right next to it, but I don't want to store it, go through another step. I just want to put it in the conveyor belt and sell it. Ah, well, we're getting close to the top of the world, Ma. Where'd we come from? It's good to know your roots. There, we came from down there. Oh, yeah, right, there's where I bought the stuff. Right over there is where we started. Did I mention I built this mountain? I'm like a god, or the god. One of those two. Here's my Scorpion King. That's its real name. Now, I, I had his arm extended, it's definitely a he, Scorpion King, I had his arm extended out more and down more, and so this is more like a tunnel going through here, but just having this arm close to this red bendy one made it freak out. Every time I left, I'd come back and be in a different position. I'd spend half an hour fixing it, come back and be in a different position. So, finally, with the arm that far away, it doesn't look like it's bothering the bendy one. And screw the names on that. I'm calling it the bendy one. It's the HTXC24-7 or something. Ooh, sometimes my worker just quits and goes for dinner, I guess. I don't know. I sh I, I'm assuming if I s dismiss the worker then start him again. He won't quit for a while, but I don't know. Well, hopefully he'll still be working when we get over there and I won't have to touch anything again to get this to go through. See, there's no way I put this much potatoes in. Where's it all? It's like a miracle. Once again, we'll mention God. God did that. Thank you, God. Anybody know the uh, story, parable, or myth of the loaves and fishes, they just kept multiplying. People were hungry, so the fish and the loaves of bread just kept multiplying and feeding everybody from, like, what, five fish and one basket of bread? Hundreds, or was it thousands of people? That's what's happening here, I'm sure of it. It's either God, the devil, aliens, uh, poltergeists? That's about all I can think of. One of those. Uh, could be angels or demons, yeah, I don't know, put your comments in down there, what else do you think it could be? Oh, we're almost to the top, yay, look at this mess up here, doggone it, that pissed me off, this is what I spent, wasted the most time on, not spent, I spent a lot of time making a cool spiral going in and out and under each other, and uh, uh like I said, they just would not stay put, and it was the worst of everything. Probably because they were in a spiral, they just did not like that. They seemed like they liked it. I left and did something else, came back, and they'd be like, like they had a wrestling match, and everything was just all screwed up. Let's look at, yeah, I think there's a good view up here of uh, where we're going. Sorry for the lag. I hate it as well. Yeah, there's the central grain elevator. That green, pukey, drabish green building. That's where we're going. 
I hear the grain. I'm sorry. The potatoes. There it is. I should have timed this. Maybe I will. What, what, it seems like 20 minutes or half an hour for this to go through. Just guessing. Hmm. It's getting evening time. Should I advance time? No. I should not. Who are you talking to? I don't know. Some stupid guy. Someone insane, probably. Well, that's you. Shut up! I'm trying to trying to do this. People are listening. We'll talk about this later. What are you insane? Yes. Now shut up. Only an insane person would take the time and trouble to build something like this. That's obvious, isn't it? Maybe, yeah, I should do a, like a multiplayer thing instead of talking to myself, probably. It'd be more fun, huh? Maybe we'll try that soon. But, oh, let's run ahead and feed the dog. Might get more glitchy, I don't know. Here's where I put sand castles. I'd like to be able to adjust the size and shape and whatnot of sand castles in Farming Simulator 20. Or 28. Or wait. Oh, I heard my dog. There's his dog house. Where was What? Did I run past him? Well, oh, I think I see him behind here. Yeah, there you are. Would you like a petting, buddy? L3 is pet. Or feed. And pet. No, you're... Yeah, I've done this before. You feed him first, he ain't interested in being petted. I kind of don't blame him, I guess. And this is one of those special dogs that doesn't need any water. There's no water up here. He's still alive after X amount of days. Let's get rid of that help thing for now. I hear it. Where is it? I assume it's still coming. This was a pain in the butt. Dad gummit. I just wanted to hang a little thing over the edge here, because ain't that cool? The highest point of the game, hanging something over the edge and getting on it. Ah! I, my knees are weak and my tummy is trembling. But man, that, it just kept moving everywhere. See, all of these are connected. What is it, like 12 of them? And finally, I mean, I did that a while, and this one right here just kept flailing everywhere, even though I had it. Even though they're connected, it would be on its side, but still connected, and the stuff wouldn't go through. So finally, I just rearranged it and made it, I don't know, made it different, a little bit less stressful on it, I don't know, less angles, and that seemed to do the trick. Like I said, don't use these. You can hang something over the edge just a little bit farther than with the other ones, so if that's important to you, I guess figure it out. Should we go look at the cows? Skip ahead of this nonsense? Let's go look at the cows. I heard somebody say yes, so here we go. cows said yes. I heard one of them. Now you'd think, I wonder if I put grain in here, they'd eat it. No, they only eat. How you doing? They only eat out of their trough in this grass. And since I don't care about milk production, only making elaborate, stupid conveyor belts, I'm not going to give them all the stuff they need. They can just eat grass and not drink water. Now that looks really painful. And you don't seem to mind one speck. Remember, I don't know if you've seen my other video from SnowRunner, or one of my other ones from SnowRunner, but I'm calling this the Philadelphia Experiment Glitch. It's probably not really a glitch, it's probably supposed to do that, but I can call it what I want. I bought the game, I, I, and I am occasionally go into God Mode. Sometimes I go into God Mode in real life. My, my family doesn't like it when I do that. That's weird. I think they would love to have a god in their midst. Okay, well, here we go. Right, oh, here's where you put the stuff if you want to feed the cows. Oh, here's one of them collection points I was talking about. If you run that pickup conveyor belt through here, just put it up here, put it by it. It'll clean up all your... What the? Yes, you see that? Now it's... Oh, what the? What's going on? I hate that. Now I've lost more than half of what I put in.
Okay, well, we'll follow this bit. I don't, I don't understand. Why? It's not that it's not lined up right. Because why would it? Oh, that's disappointing. Hopefully, we don't lose it so much we can't see it splitting up there at the bottom. Did I mention I? What? See? Now it's friggin' what? Okay, now we can't even see it splitting where it splits. <sighs> what? Um, don't ever try this. It's extremely frustrating. I'm gonna go back and fill it with crap. Maybe if I move it... Yeah, I can climb walls straight up the cliff. Isn't that nice? Even with the lag. Here's where I tried to drive up onto the roof with this ramp, but I couldn't quite get up. Okay, so here's one of the things that kept moving. That looks like it might be slightly off, but why was it off for that little bit that went through? I don't get it. It's not because I stood on it, I don't think. Come on, let me in, you stupid lag. What? Let me in. Thank you. Man, this sucks. Guess what you gotta deal with if you want a three mile long conveyor belt or whatever this is. Okay, remember people? Without bringing up the help menu? Shoot, I might be controlling a different friggin... Okay, I gotta bring up the help menu. And it's not that button. Stop that. It's that button. Alright, it says hire worker. So I am controlling that one. So let's just see if I can move it slightly to the right. And with the lag, it's very difficult because it doesn't go... And then it goes like crazy. There! See? Go back now. Come on. Okay. No, not so... Okay. What is that? Come on. A little bit to the right. Come on. Just a... You can't do it. Slightly. Okay, right there. Sometimes you can do a slight adjustment. Look at this lag. Game developers, come on, do the impossible and fix that, please. I'd be happy to spend, like, 60 bucks on the next farming simulator instead of 40. If you fix that lag and I can make a long conveyor belt. Oh crap, do I do another whole video now, start completely over, because I had to move that? Can you people just kind of... I, I could cheat and edit that out, but I hate lying and deceiving like a certain president. I know that's the norm now, if you can get away with it and screw anybody over it and lie and cheat and steal and exaggerate and mislead and misdirect and be a magician instead of a politician, then that's what you do, and that's what the people love. But I don't like doing that, so I'm just going to tell you that I didn't quite get it to go through all the way without touching anything. I'm so sad. I'm so proud of myself at the same time for not lying. Okay. I think it's working now. And I don't usually have any problems on these steps going down. Look at that, though. The animation stays on, even when there's no, gra no grain, I keep calling it grain, no potatoes going through. Because, I don't know why because, but if you get in them and just touch one button, boom, the animation turns off. And like I said before, you don't really get in them, but I think you hit enter, yeah, enter vehicle. By the way, let's... Turn that off, make it just a tad nicer for now. Coming up here pretty soon, a few more steps down, you get a pretty good view of where we're headed. What, I hear a jet. Can you even see those? I don't think I've ever seen one, but I hear something. Or is that a train? That might be the train. Yeah, that sounds more like the train. The train is fun. Figure that out if you haven't done it. You get to drive it backwards and forwards. At some point here I'm going to set up a huge demolition derby and see uh, 
what happens when you pile up 80 vehicles or something and let the train smash into them. I don't think you can stop the train. I've tried before with putting stuff on the track. It just sends everything flying. I only did it with like two things or three things, but it'd be fun to do it with a whole bunch. Let's see what happens. As you can tell, I'm very into playing video games the way they were meant to be played. What do, do we? What do you care? If I buy the game, I can play it however I want, right? Okay. There's our split down there. Can we see? Yeah, my worker's still working. I can see the thing moving. Might, might not have to adjust that if he doesn't quit before we get there. There's the grain elevator we're going to. Maybe that's why I keep calling this this grain, because it's going to the grain elevator. It's potatoes, two-dimensional potatoes. I'm not complaining. They did a pretty good job on this game. Imagine what uh, you'd have to draw. Uh, imagine if they tried to do individual potatoes that were three-dimensional and not two-dimensional looking like this. Well, your game would glitch out after three conveyor belts instead of 150 billion, or I will count these at some point and put that number in here somewhere for you. Uh, I should probably even total up the amount of money. Speaking of the money, Look up there, I got 40, so, so I got an X, a certain amount, X amount, 40, 466 million something. Well, I didn't come by that honestly. I used to think, oh, we're back to the, a little bit less than what I put in. I used to think mods are cheating, kind of, they are, kind of, but like I said, you buy the game, you can play it however you want. You just, you want to have fun, that's what you do. So I bought the, uh, government subsidy mod not not bought that's free of course um, I got it and it's I looked at some others and it seems like the best way to make a bunch of money quick again that's the government subsidy mod if memory serves it's like a, it looks like a sign you put a sign anywhere on a property you own Boom, $100,000 per hour. Talk about cheating or unsportsmanlike conduct. And so I thought, well, what if I put two signs on one of my properties? Boom, $200,000 an hour. Well, what if I put 15 signs on one of my properties? And they're free, by the way. They're free in real money, and they don't cost a thing in the game to put them up. Yeah, you guessed it. The hundred, what, what? Hundred thousand dollars an hour times fifteen. Well, I didn't know there'd be a test, but I'm pretty sure you can figure out how much money that is per hour. So, if you want to cheat like me and get the government subsidy mod, you can make a lot of money in a short amount of time. Just turn the time span up to 120 times per regular time, and before you know it, you're a billionaire. Well, I don't think this goes to billion. But it definitely will go to 999 million. I didn't go that high. By the way, I got a bunch of mods, and and then my game froze. It I, came, I saved it, came back on. Everything was black except I could see a slight outline of stuff, but it was frozen. So I started turning off mods, and I turned them all off except for this conveyor belt and the ramp I showed you. And then I then I could play my game again. I'm going to try that car, that mod car, like maybe it looks like a Dodge Magnum or something. It looks like it could be pretty fast, I don't know. Oh, okay, let me tell you something about this thing. You put this, this thing kept going, like I kept adjusting these two. I'm going, why, why isn't it working when it used to be working? And then I, I said, well, is that moving forward and backward instead of just side to side? So I come over here, I look at the tires, and I'm watching it compared to a little piece of grass or something, and yeah. It moves like a quarter inch up every revolution. I don't know. That's like in five degrees, I think. I wonder what it does on 50 degrees. Anyways, so I thought, well, I don't know. Attach it to something. You can't really attach it. You can't attach it to that end of that thing. So attach it to a tractor, and now it doesn't move. A little bit, a little bit of tip for you guys if you want to use this thing. All right, what? Are, are we stuck? Or are we just not here yet? Please tell me it's the ladder. I hear it. Oh, okay, cool. Just not here yet. 
I hope I'm not talking too much for you guys. What the heck? Now I've got tons again. Okay, but it's going into both. You see that. It turns off when it's not over the collection area, so it turns off for a second. Oh wait, what? It usually turns off. This tractor, yeah, it would not stay there. I kept putting it back up there and it just kept driving off the cliff when I went away. I think I mentioned that, so I'll try not to repeat myself about this other irritating thing or two yet. I'm going to repeat myself. I, I drove this thing right up to the edge of the cliff, and then I tried experimenting, not quite so close, but it was a lot cooler hanging over hanging over the conveyor belts, but I'd leave and come back, and no, it'd be back here again. Again. God, the devil, poltergeist, aliens, I don't know, something. This collection bin here is only for potatoes or sugar beets, I believe. I haven't tried on anything else, but I'm pretty sure that's all it will take or work with. So at any point now, we're going to see, fingers crossed, potatoes from both of these. There's one. Come on. Don't make me touch something else. Come on, you can do it. Where are you, potatoes? Come on. Tell me you're in here. Why? why? You're in here and you're stuck, aren't you? Crap! It's <sighs> trying to move it slightly. Why won't it move? What's going on? Oh, that's why it won't move. Okay, that thing moved and pushed it over. Oh, uh, this... Uh, what? They wasn't anywhere close to this. But it decided it wanted to be over here now. Why aren't you... Am I in the right vehicle? I was not in the right vehicle. Come on, get out of here. Problem causer, now I have to make a whole new video. Stupid friggin... Just stay over here now. Poopy pants. Oh, and there the stuff went. All I had to do was move that. Oh, that's the wrong thing. See, it's still stuck in there. Pieces me off. There. Dad gummit. Alright, well, it's out of there now. It holds a certain amount. Wait, no, it hadn't gone in there yet. Now it's going in. Oh, you almost saw it. Saw a smidgen of it. Anyways, it went in. Uh, in case you're wondering, uh, this will not move around by itself. After you enter the vehicle, uh, you got to hook it up to a tractor and move it around. And in case you're... Oh, it makes pallets, too. Let me show you. You get in... Oh, hang on. Never mind. It'll make pallets. Just hit that option. In case you're wondering where the stuff comes out, right there. Uh, I had to experiment a bit to figure that out. Either I did stuff wrong, or it will not come out this side. It's only on its left side. I'm sure you'll correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I should have experimented more before I made that statement, probably. Yeah, that was a lot cooler. The two wheel loaders holding it up. Fortunately, it's staying there for now, though. Like I said, once something falls, leave it there for a few days, and then... Oh. This is a total disaster. It must have fell more and hit that. Yeah. Just pretend you're not seeing this as I fix that. I don't know how that got over there, but when you try and do stuff like this, they don't even have to be touching anything. Just being in their presence makes them angry and move around sometimes. So let's try it again.
if I show this, I will definitely be fast forwarding through it for you. Out there, come on, go. There you go. <sighs> okay. Hello? Yeah. Ooh, let's extend that slightly. It's right on the very edge. We don't want that, remember? Nope, it's gonna stay. <laughs> That's at its maximum. Lower it, we'll get another inch out of it. That'll help. I could back that other one up a little bit, but it's triggering, so forget it. Yeah, well, it wouldn't go under this other sprayer, even though it looked like it was going under the other sprayer. So there that sprayer sits. There is something about this color scheme right here. Can you guess what it is? Let me just point out a couple things. You might not be able to see from the angle of the sun or whatever, but black, orange, green, yellow, black, orange. Now, why is there more black, orange than green, yellow? Well, because I went to one college longer than I did the other one. Makes perfect sense, right? I'm sure you all figured that out before I ever told you. Okay, so we'll probably fast forward through some stuff because it's taking its sweet time to get here. By the way, stuff goes through those bendy ones, the XG5 billion slash 47 stroke Bs, the bendy ones. It goes through like twice as fast as these other ones, but they hold less. Not that I don't see why that would ever matter, but of course the slowest conveyor belt is going to determine this, how slow your whole thing goes. Like the chain is only as strong as its weakest link, that kind of deal more words of wisdom. See, aren't you glad you tuned in? And I had a friend once who was going to hang something from a chain for me. Well, actually, my wife's friend. But she was a friend. And uh, she said, well, it, it was a lamp or something from the ceiling. And 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 she goes, I go, well, yeah, I agree. That's not strong enough. How are you going to make it stronger since you're doing it? She goes, well, I'm just going to put more links in. It was a chain it was hanging from. And I didn't think about this before, but I told her, now wait a minute. If you put more links in, it can't possibly make it stronger, but it could make it weaker. Right? I mean, check my logic there. Uh, again, put it in the comments down below and tell me how wrong I am. A chain can only be as strong as its weakest link. If you put more links in, it's not going to get stronger. Because if you put in stronger links, it's still, it's still going to be as weak. Look at my money. I think you get the point on the chain. Look at my money. That's more important. It's, it's increasing. It'll, it'll tell me the, the total amount that it did in this little session here. In green under there in a second. Oh, $318 harvest income. Yes, I assume that's not pounds, because I changed it to my system. But, you know, 318 added to my 466 million or whatever, I can now buy whatever I want to buy. Woohoo! So, if I don't make another video where I actually went through the whole thing without touching anything, thanks for joining me. If I do, and you happen to hear me talking right now, thanks for joining me anyways. Bye-bye.